I think the only benefit the bug types have, like seriously, is the fact that they're so frail that most of them work so good with focus Sash, especially Butterfree. But the bug types are the worst types in the game. I shall prove that right now. Alright everybody, what is going on? This is Trey, aka Can Trey Game, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Let's Play. We are now on, now on part 3, and in the last episode, we defeated the Grass Gym Leader after nearly throwing. So, if I can figure out how to pull up the badge. Yeah. Yeah, it says it right there, badge collected. We collected one. And it is the Grass Gym Badge, which is where we're at right now. So, on my breaks at work, I spent some time doing some of the Crystal Raid Dens, or Terra Raid Dens. I'm kind of having trouble, though, because it's kind of hard for me to find. Like, they're not as plentiful as the wild areas on Sword and Shield, but maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I have to look more into it. But yeah, Koma Squire hit level 21. We got uh, Deerling, or... Bambi up to level 20, and Hoppy's level 21. Um, we now have a Marill. It involves a second form off camera, so I've been doing some grinding to get our levels up before the next playthrough. But as I said in the last video, the next gym we're probably going to attack, which I already marked the location before doing the video, is the... It's this lady right here. So that's where we're going to be headed. So this video may be short. I think we've got all the 50 minute videos out of the way, at least until the main story stuff kicks in. So I think now we just focus on the gyms and see what happens there. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna actually mark the location now and we'll pick up where we left off. And I have another rant. You guys remember how I said Gorgite isn't on this game, right? Well, guess what? I don't know if you guys might've caught wind of my Pokemon Diamond. Brilliant Diamond playthrough at episode one, but I also said Nine Tails is one of my favorite Pokemon. Maybe like not his favorite as Gorgias is, but it's definitely one of them. And Nine Tails isn't on this game either. <laughs> so take what I said in the last video about giving this game a one out of ten, and this game is now a big fat zero until they add Gorgias and Nine Tails in this game. I refuse to give this game a ten out of ten. I just won't give it an eight or anything like that. It's a zero. In my eyes, because you're leaving out all of my favorite Pokemon. Because I came into this game with the team already in mind. And I couldn't find out that most of the Pokemon I want to use aren't even here. Do you know how demoralizing that is? But alright, I'll get back to you guys once we make it to the gym. Or if any other story pops up along the way, I'll let you know about that too. Be right back. Okay, evolution time. So I discovered that the raid dens are on the map. It's just, they're marked with like symbols. Like if you see like a ghost symbol on the map or like, I'll just close the map, it's easier. So if you see symbols like rock and dark or whatever, those are actually terror raids. And I didn't know, but now I do. Evolution time. Welcome back, buddy. I actually have a competitive Azumarill on my um, sword character. It's like the one Pokemon that I actually had on my team that's actually on this game still, isn't that crazy? Welcome back, Easter Bunny. I believe to involve this, we gotta walk 1,000 steps in let's go mode, right? Something like that. All right, so with that, all of my Pokemon, well, except for Bambi over there, have evolved. However, all of them, I gotta get Palmy to level 20 and then I feel comfortable enough to keep going. We are now 
here. We've got our Pokemon to evolve. I've been catching some Pokemon along the way too, so let's look at the boxes real quick. Cobra Squire is staying, I like Cobra Knight. Oink along, not sure. Bambi might be leaving in place of Smollett because I told you guys in the last video that I had my eyes on this Pokemon. Now that I have it, I think it might be better than this. But then we're gonna have to. I caught a Grievard. I'm actually gonna use this Pokemon because you guys know I love my ghost types, and this Pokemon looks pretty cool. But I am also going to have to level this up too. Because Talon Flame would just be great. We could have a fire type on our team for our steel and fairies. So. I'm probably gonna overhaul the team. We shall see though. Why are you doing this if you're already, like, champion level? This is the bug type, right? We got a flying type. We don't really have a lot to deal with bug, except Cobra Squire. That's why he's the lead, or it, she's the lead. You guys know I'm gonna skip this, right? <clears throat> I am not showing this. Yeah, the tier list says otherwise. I think the only benefit the bug types have, like seriously, is the fact that they're so frail that most of them work so good with focus Sash. Especially Butterfree. But the bug types are the worst types in the game. I shall prove that right now. Yeah, I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna take it easy on nobody anymore. I'm gonna do the grass simulator. Would it be crazy to just harass a life right now and just watch out everything? Did 
It is so unfortunate because she's a bug person, but I'm a flying type person. So it's like, ugh. I love birds. Keep going. Faster though. That's great. I think Dynamax is stronger than this mechanic. If anything, it's definitely more versatile. Bugs. They suck. Yeah, they all got one shot. And that's how I hope it goes for the rest of the time. I'm literally gonna grind before every little video. <laughs> That's so cute. Sort of. Easily done. But again, I am kind of overleveled for that. <laughs> you got to understand, man. Ever since Sword and Shield, I've kind of just been overleveling for every gym because I like, don't want to have to struggle. Last video was a fluke. All right, I made one mistake. Never again. Coming so quick, huh? This is the honest answer, because I told you guys I'm going to make the Master Ball tier when we get to competitive. And I'll be doing singles battles. I don't do that double stuff. I'll leave that to the others.
I'll check out classes after this video. But with that, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this video. This one's going to be, oh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be shorter than the other two by far. But we'll see when I'm editing. Until next time, guys. Um, Actually, let's look at the next gym we're going to do. Yeah, so I think we're going to do the water gym next. It says that it's good with those who have battle experience. So I'm, mm. Or it could be the normal one. Because they said the normal one was also the middle of the pack. And it's right over here. But I'm thinking that I want to do the water one next. So that's what we're going to do. Water will be the next one. I'll level up my Pokemon far more. I'll probably have um third evolution going on. But until next time, guys, I'll catch you then. Um, I'm going to stream DVD today. I don't know if I'll be streaming before this video comes up, but more than likely I will. But until next time, guys, catch you guys on part. This part four of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Let's Play. And until then, peace out. Uh.